Hey everybody, John Grimsmo here, bringing you a quick CAD design tips and tricks. Um, we've been making the Norseman knife for like four years now, and you know, I originally designed it in SolidWorks four years ago. It's been tweaked ever since, but not everything has always changed on it. Um, there are some issues that are still popping up, even on our fancy new machine. And Eric keeps bugging me because he's finishing department. But anyway, let's do this together. We're on narrow view, so I gotta be way out far. Um, tell me what the problem is. Um, just in the, the profile on the corner rounder and just the outside profile, there's all these little like notches and dips and little facets and weird places. Um, and it's consistent. It's consistent, yeah, they're always there. And but I have to grind them out and re shape everything just to kind of make them disappear. Yeah, and funny enough, one handle is different than the other handle. One handle is way worse than the other, right? Yeah. Um, so it's just extra hand finishing after the fact. And if we can avoid some of that, save a lot of time. Right. So the solution to avoid that is, like I said, this design is literally four years old and it's gone through a couple different CAD programs. Anyway, I'm using Fusion right now. And if I turn on curvature combs, you can see like you don't mind the sweepiness that's no big deal it's when it goes jagged that it just turns to crap and this is the lock side handle if we compare and I can't hold it here you film okay like if we look closely here we can see notches there if we look closely here we can see the definition of that one and here you know it just all makes sense and back here so basically I want to edit the profile edit a sketch so that everything looks smooth and gentle like this none of these really jagged uh, dips and changes because that's looks like crap in the finished part and for such a, a shape that's all swoopy and was originally derived from a spline where you can like grab a point and move it um, you really got to make an effort to get this as smooth as possible so that you have the best product possible. And that Eric's job is a lot easier and less finishing work. Um, because it's stupid to machine a part that's not great and then have to redo it afterwards when the machine can do a great job anyway. So yeah, I've been battling with this for many years and I've never really taken the time involved to uh, mess with the profiles, but it's finally time to do it. So Well, you have improved it over time and there was there was a time when it was really good, and then just like um, a couple months ago, we did like the reverse honeycomb or something, and somewhere in that change, it just yeah. got really bad. Yeah. And it just hasn't gone back since. So. I think part of it was I, like for the profile, I think I'm selecting that sketch, and for the corner rounder, I'm selecting the top of the bottle, which has different, like slightly different geometry. So the corner rounder looks worse than the profile, even though they're supposed to be the same and match up, and all this little weird stuff that just yeah. sinks you. Um, yeah. So there's a lot of just extra blending. Yeah. Um, the you know CNC isn't always perfect. <laughs> It'll do exactly what you tell it to do. Yeah. That's the thing. <laughs> yeah. It's the human error, I guess. Yeah. You got to tell it to do the right thing. So we're gonna do that and uh, profit. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Bye.